Hello and welcome back to another Python tutorial. My name is Tom with Mastercode Online. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about indirect function calls. Uh, this is actually pretty cool, and uh, I think what I got here today for you guys is very informational, so you want to make sure you watch the whole video. So let's get started. First off, we're going to create a function, and this function is going to be called full name, and we're going to pass two very uh two arguments just to say a and b and what we're going to do with this function is we're going to concatenate the uh, uh a and b together to make a full name and then we're going to make a title case so they're capitalized the first letter of each string so let's go ahead and do name is equal to a plus and then we're going to put um a string with a white space in there to space out the uh first and last name and then we'll do b so B is going to represent last name. Then we're going to do name is equal to name dot title. And if you remember way back when we were talking about strings, I told you title makes uh, uh, the first letter of each string uh, capitalized, giving it like a title look, if you will. All right. And then we're going to do return name. All right. <clears throat> so first thing I want to do is we want to be able, let's first take a look at what this does, the function. Before I get ahead of myself and we're just going to pass Tom and then comma and then Myers and this should give me something like this Tom Myers there we go all right cool uh, now <clears throat> what we want to do is do something called indirect function function calls all right so what I'm going to do is create a variable and we're going to call it var all right and we're going to set it equal to full underscore name all right do not do this all right if you do that you're calling the function and we're not passing any uh, positional arguments to it so it's going to fail just like that all right so we're going to do var is equal to full name without the parentheses all right now if i do var and i do um tom myers like that and hit return, I get Tom Myers. Pretty cool, right? So now I'm not using full name, I'm using var. So if you had a really long function name, and you're like, I'm sick of ty typing this, we can change it to var, right? All right, that's one way of using indirect. Let's take a look at another way. Um, uh, let's create another function. We're going to define indirect. Um, this is going to call a function, and it's going to pass two arguments to it. So we'll do arg1 and arg two like that all right and then we're going to go ahead and print the function with its arguments all right arg1 arg2 just like that and we're going to call it indirect and if you remember we named our full name function up here uh var so we'll call var and then we're going to pass a comma and then we're going to pass in two positional arguments which are arg1 and arg2 and I'll just do my name again, Tom Myers. So if you'd like to use your name or if you'd like to use mine, that's pretty flattering. All right, uh, hit return, and we get Tom Myers. All right, so what did we do there? All right, so we called a function to call another function. And basically, we didn't know what this function is, right? Um, we could call several different functions as long as we have the right amount of arguments um, positioned in the right place, correct? So we could call any uh, function if we wanted to that had two arguments right here so what we did was we called var which is our full name function up here and we passed in uh, two positional arguments Tom and Myers and we ran this function up here I think that's pretty cool um, all right one last example let's go ahead and do this uh, this is a little long lines of indirect that's why I'm including it let's go ahead and do uh, define first and we'll just pass A as an argument. Then we're going to do define last and pass B as an argument. So first name, last name. We're still on that first name, last name thing. Name equal to A plus uh, white space and then B. And then we'll do um, oops, name is equal to name dot title. Same thing we did before. And this time we're going to do print name. All right. And then down here we're going to do return last. And that should be good. All right. So what's going on here? Well, 
we got our first function is first and it has one argument. All right, we got a second function that's going to handle the last name and the first name technically. Uh, last, this is going to be a whole nother function in here. So this function calls the last function and we're just going to go ahead and add it. Uh, concatenate our name together and then change it to title case and then print our name out all right so the cool part is what I'm going to show you next we're going to say var 1 is equal to first and we're just going to pass in my first name Tom like that oh, like that all right hit return now we're going to call var 1 again and this time we're going to pass in my last name Myers like that all right Hit return and we got Tom Myers. All right, so that might be some a little confusing to you at first. All right, so var one we call first, and what happens is we're passing in the first argument, and first we'll return or retain that argument, I should say. We'll retain that argument because we already passed it. So we pass that argument, it goes to first, and then we pass a second argument, and it goes to the next um, positional argument within the function which is b so it retains that and then it comes back and prints the name i think that's pretty cool so if you guys have any questions about indirect function calls or i guess this is still considered an indirect function call uh let me know uh otherwise don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos i'll see you in the next tutorial